What's going on my boys, YT Dan back at it again with another video. Today we're gonna to be getting in there to talk about the Forbidden and Limited list. Um, looks like it was published by your boy, it's Brad HD. Shout out to the boy and posting it on Decade's website. That's like such a combination and I'm talking on it. This is such like a, a moment right now if you think about it as a Duel Links person or a Duel Links player or perspective, you go back in the day, I don't know, was that eight years ago? Almost a decade seems insane where Decade was finished. Well, Decade won the Duel Links World Championships. Got the got the worm in his mind of you know what? Better go in on this website. And I remember my boy is Brad HD was doing the news, and I was bringing the dank content daily. And now the battlefield has changed. We're all battle scarred warriors, and now we're all masters of the TCG. Which is very, very interesting. What happened? What happens with this? Uh, the game evolves, time evolves. But now I'm here to talk about this ban list because there's a lot of people yapping. It's a whole lot of yapping going on about this ban list. I'm going to add to the yap fest, but you know, I'm all about value. So I'm going to talk about the real contributions of these cards. I'm going to talk about why these cards are relevant. I'm going to talk about where these cards are place where they fall in the spectrum of game mechanics and then i'm also going to talk about you know what these cards actually do from being released what would they do in the hands of a jesse cotton what would they do in my hands what would they do in your hands so let's just get into the conversation and see where these cards lead us so starting off here you know on the ban list the first card that they mentioned i'm getting that by the way this is not blind and also i'm not gonna cornball it up and act like i don't know what's up so Armageddon Knight, when this card is summoned, you can send one dark monster from your deck to the graveyard. This is broken. When this card is summoned deck to the graveyard, y'all already know. You know, when this card is normal or special summoned, you know, this card just says when this card is summoned. It doesn't say normal. So special summon is definitely an option, but in a deck that can, can special summon a level four monster, there's plenty of decks can do that. And I believe if I'm not mistaken, that um, Ancient Fairy Dragon can still do that. So, you know, good for Ancient Fairy Dragon. And I think Ancient Fairy Dragon came off the list on this list. So, uh, or went up to three. Um, then we got this card. Oh my God, Red Rose Dragon. Now this card was at one, now it's at three. So basically they're turning this engine back on. This card says, if this card is in the graveyard as a synchro material, you can special summon one Rose Dragon from your hand or deck, and that's what we're looking for from the deck, um, except for this card, obviously. If this card is sent to the, uh, as a synchro for a Black Rose Dragon or a plant monster, you can add Frozen Rose or Blooming of the Darkness Rose, excuse me, from your deck to the hand. I believe those are spell cards that help you to extend, um, or those are monster cards that help you to extend. Either way, this is an extender that helps you to extend, and that's pretty good. So they're basically turning this engine back on because although this card doesn't have the summon specifications like Armageddon Knight or, or Alistair or Snake Eye Ash, for example, it has a ton of synergy with Synchro. So this is definitely an extender that they're putting back to three. So they want this Rose Dragon thing to come back live. Um, this Karen thing, I know a lot of people talked about this card and said that um, Karen come back to three was going to be like, no. And I will say definitely if you're not playing Pendulums, probably so. But it says basically this is um, a, board, a board card, a, a card you end the board with or maybe you use it to break a board. But it says during either player's turn, you can target one Pendulum monster and one monster your opponent controls and return them to the hand. You can only use the effect of, of this card once per turn and you cannot target or this card can be targeted or destroyed by opponent's card effects. So, you know, Karen's, you know, again, it's a it's an inboard card. So it's it's not that big a deal, you know. I'm sure it was a big deal back in the day, that quick effect uh bounce, but but nowadays it's just a lot of stuff going on. So it might not be that big an issue, which is probably at three. Um perform pal perform age plus fire. Now I actually don't know anything about this card. This was not my time, so we're gonna read and interpret it right now. But face up. Perform age monster you control is destroyed by battle or card effects. Special summon this card um, to the pendulum zone. Uh, you special summon this card from the pendulum zone and take 500 damage. So an extender that can be summoned through the combo line of the pendulum magician. So pretty good, you know, free extender, free summon. If this card 
is on the field is destroyed by a card effect you know using the combo line of your pendulums um you know using electromite etc you can special summon one perform age monster from your hand or deck okay from the deck is what i like to see all right so basically it says if this card on the field so basically if you can speed out this level four fire spellcaster to your field without normal summoning it and use the effect then you can take the most advantage off of plush fire from something like you know electromite any of the pendulum things that pop most of them pop um now here's ancient fairy dragon we know what's up with this card we know that there was an errata but i don't remember what it was so i'm gonna have to read it again since during the main phase you can special summon one level four or lower monster from the hand that explains a lot because as we looked on this ban list like as the cards came back you know look level four can be special summon from the hand can grab something from the deck here's another level three that can be special summon the hand grab something from the deck here's another level four that can be special summon from the hand and send something from the deck so there's a theme with this release um karen is the only one so far that seems a little bit out of place um but karen probably just got thrown on here because it was on there last time i believe um it says can i conduct the battle phase the turn you activate this effect which is totally fine i think that's the rider i don't remember so during the main phase you can destroy as many cards on the as many cards in the field zone as possible and if you do gain a thousand life points and then add a field spell to it with a different name from your uh deck to the hand which is also pretty good so i think that whole not being able to battle was the errata um i really don't remember um dang long synchro summon add a card okay just one of those extra deck um starters once per turn you can send uh from a deck to the graveyard um do the level oh yeah so dang long oh so dang long was that oh i didn't know dang long was even at um one out and most people i only ever see them run run one dang long um oh yeah but also i'm talking about the tcg by the way um not master duel but to be very fair this is a very master duel like ban list um and then on top of it this is my favorite card here this is the card i really want to talk about more than any other cards on this list um time seal skip the draw phase of the opponent's turn now you might say why is this card in the deck d generacy d generacy i'm gonna tell you synchro degeneracy is why this is in here so i think what's going on here if i'm just gonna read this unlimited without saying anything they are this this was made for high skill players this limited and restricted list was made for combo players and the reason why because there's a combo reward card time seal time seal was a card that i used to use back in the day time seal was a brand new card when i used to play back in the day i pulled out time seal drop off with delinquent duo donson <laughs> back in the day is crazy you look in your opponent's hand you take some cards you drop do drop off time seal that's game time but imagine setting up your first turn board setting up flame burst dragon um putting a card in the spell trap zone maybe deal bell star you know maybe you've got more negates you've got all kinds of stuff and then you um combo your opponent uh to death and <laughs> and you set the time seal <laughs> now don't get me wrong this is a neg one the and and technically in some ways this is a bad card it is because it's just a card that pretty much activates and affects the mechanic but it doesn't activate technically and neg your opponent unless your opponent just you know doesn't get to draw and then they lose then that then in a way that is a neg one because they never got it you know but but you know that's not how Yu-Gi-Oh players think that's not how i think but i rationalize and understand that this could be technically a one for one or you know um a zero for one basically however the reason why i say this would probably be better in the hands of like a jesse cotton not even myself because in those events like a tournament event like you just really gotta think about this scenario I'm, i want you to envision this there's a tournament and Jesse Cotton is in this tournament. And you know he gets the two buys, right? 
So he gets the two buys and he gets past the scrubs. The scrubs never have to learn or know about time seal. He keeps time seal in the side deck and he plays against an opponent and decides to ramp up the triple tactics talents. Imagine playing against Jesse Cotton and he has time seal tactics and ash and tactics is live right now. <laughs> you're going to, you're going to regret when he goes bananas and sets up the board, gets the fiend smiths out, puts in the good work, <laughs> then flips the time steal, seals your fate. Now, I honestly, if I was to say, what's the chance of seeing this in a tournament? I would say it's pretty low, but the meme factor is really high, so you better look out for it. All right, so now we got semi limits. A bunch of stuff from ones going up to two. It looks like they just unleashed all of the um, extender. Um, dragon engines like primarily all these cards have an effect to say um, you know you got to banish the corresponding um, elements so you know fire earth uh, wind etc special summon it from the hand and then also um, you can add a fire dragon from the deck so you like basically perpetuate these engines by searching other cards for for these things like nothing's wrong with these at all I think these are pretty fair and um, I think, you know, if you're running any of these elements, these, these are just great extenders to just help your uh, game, pay, game, game pace flow. And then also, you know, they're, they're higher levels too. So, you know, you know, like, uh, was it seven, seven? Yeah, they're all sevens. Yeah, because they're divine. Yeah, you know, so level seven, divine, heavenly, etc. You know, get your exceeds going. But again, it's an extender. It's okay. It's not a big deal. Luna Light Tiger. Again, this is one of those not in my time cards. Once per turn, target a Loonlight monster in the graveyard special summon. Okay, it's an extender. Um, and then and then this is once per turn, so it's not one of those um, good ass, you know, if this card is normal, do a thing guy. It's a summon me, put me on the field, wait. Response. I'm going to do it. <laughs> if this card is on the field is destroyed by battle or card effect you can target one lunar light monster in the graveyard for something really slow so definitely just should have came back a long time ago thunder dragon colossus uh, must be fusion summon oh we we know this guy your opponent can't add stuff from the deck to the hand it can't be destroyed if you got thunder stuff they put this at two so i mean the only thing this, this says to me is that it at one did nothing and they want to try to encourage play so they put it at two that's what i think um Ib the world chalice okay i remember this being broken i remember people saying this this was broken but it's at one right now this card is summoned add a world chalice synchro summit this is one of those extra deck starter monsters you know i guess you know if you're playing an archetype that can support this okay you know it basically synchro summon you can add you know cards from the archetype you know uh you know, treat it as cards from archetype. It's, you know, it's very archetypal niched, so it's not all that great. All right, now we got Eva from zero to one. That turns on Drytron, I believe. I think Drytron was the main Eva abuser, if I'm not mistaken. It says if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can banish up to two other light fairies uh, from your hand from your hand or the field uh, with the same name. Uh, of the level two or lower light fairy monsters with different names from your deck except this card yeah that's crazy yeah so basically this card just sets you up really good there's no i don't think there's any other card that sets two from the deck that's crazy snake eye ash from three to one <laughs> they're giving you them uh master duel rule they tested out master duel to see if people could actually still win with one and they saw that was possible so they went ahead and, and put it down to one absolutely fine it's not a big deal um it's popular down to one now absolutely fine not a big deal the issue would have been zero if these were zero then that would have been bad actually no i take back no popular take it back i take it back popular at one is effective it is a bruise against snake eye and you might say why is it a bruise simply because if they open with this card they can never draw they can they can never add it to the hand and if they open with the card and they can't add it to the hand, they can't get the special summon. So by that way, the hypergeometric distribution defeats Snake Eye because the distribution is going to give you Poplar one in 40 times. One in 40 times you're going to get Poplar. I don't think that's enough 
for you to be able to factor into the L's you're going to take. So imagine you being a snake eye player and all already all the guns are pointed at you because you're the snake eye player. Let's just say you win half of your coin tosses and of the half of your coin tosses, you know, um, you win every game. So now you got a 50% win rate. Okay. Let's say on that 50% win rate, you never saw popular in your opening hand. Good luck on the other half, my boy. That's all I got to say. Probability is not in your favor. So that was an effective move. They didn't touch flame birds dragon, which I'm not surprised um because basically flame burst dragon is a floater that rewards you at the end of the combo line if i got all the way to the end of the combo line you can't complain but people do complain that's why baron apolosa and barlow savage is gone free my negates free my negates right now my free my negates they ain't do nothing wrong free my negates come on free them anyway number 40 gimmick puppet of the strings i didn't know that this card was deemed a a a, a slap down but it's kind of funny i thought this was like bulk um but it says once for a turn you can detach one material um and place a string counter on it once for a turn on the end phase your opponent's turn destroy as many cards on it with string counters and if you do inflict 500 damage it must be some other stuff you can play with this it must be some other stuff i know they have the gimmick puppet lock and other things so it must be something really broken to take this from three to one um number 40 gimmick puppet dark strings um more gimmick puppet stuff but they put this from the one so this must be even crazier when this card is special summoned destroy i think it's a destroy all let me see when this card says destroy the monsters with string counters and if you do draw one card and inflict damage to your opponent equal to the original attack among the destroyer. Oh, that's busted. That's a game engine card right there. Brandon Fusion. <laughs> I said that I called it Brandon Fusion by accident. <laughs> I normally call it Brandon Fusion on <laughs> all the time on purpose, but this is the first time I ever called it Brandon Fusion <laughs> by accident. But Brandon Fusion. Um, I actually spoke about this spell in my uh, video about the normal summon. This is a spell card, basically a spell normal summon that needs to be hidden. So there's a lot of different means to protect this card and to bait your opponent into using cards around this card. And in Master Duel, this card is at one. And at Myers, this deck is on sale for $8 in the clearance bin. So it's about time to brand it go down to one. So take your L, boy. Um, opening the spirit gate, search you bail, put down the one. Fine. Uh, pot of prosperity <coughs> or search other uh, Fiend Smith stuff. <laughs> Zero Fiend Smith, guys. You know, put it to one. Great. Pot of prosperity was doing the same thing. Put it to one. Great. Sang and summoning. Crybaby duelists are sad that their um, snake eye decks are getting OTK by saying and summoning. This is one of the things I love about the Yu Gi Oh community, but I'm going to roast you a little bit on this. How the hell are you always playing snake eye or the top tier meta and it's always broken and disgusting and you hate it? How, I mean, you love it. How the hell are you the mystic mind player? How the hell are you the guy playing crystal beast with the mystic mind search? And you are complaining that people are blowing you out with Sang and Summoning. Shut your ass up. Sang and Summoning ain't do nothing wrong. People can't interact with the cards. That's the goddamn point. But Sang and Summoning, you only need one, just like Snake Eye Ash. But again, Sang and Summoning isn't what won a tournament. It was the normal summoning combo line of the Snake Eye Ash. Sang and Summoning did nothing wrong. Sang and Summoning the three. That grass looks greener needed to stay at zero. I don't like cards like that grass looks greener. It causes a disparity in card advantage. And also it plays into randomness and it doesn't play in the probability. And I don't like that because the reason why I don't like that is because there's no way to know what your opponent's deck is. Therefore, there's no way to know if you're going to have a 60 card mirror match. There's no way to know um, if you're going to even see that card. So then if you don't see any of your mill cards or your grass cards, you're just running a bad deck. 
I don't like grass. And then you got thrust to do grass stuff. I just don't think it's worth it. If I'm going to sit down and play physical cards, I'm not playing fucking solitaire with that grass looks greener. I'm just not doing it. Or my tear laments or whatever. I just don't like that. I just, just personally, it's not my style of dueling. Um, skill drain was at three. That's crazy. I didn't know that it was at three in the TCG. I thought skill drain was at one in TCG. That's insane, but they put it to one. Okay, I'm surprised about that. <laughs> I'm surprised about that one. I'm, I'm actually genuinely surprised about that. Had no idea that boy was at goddamn three. They are animals with this at three. You animals. How do you have skill, skill train at three in the TCG? Absolute animals. All right. Now, these are forbidden. And I'm gonna tell you, I don't agree with this list. I do not agree with this list. I know why they did what they did. And I was waiting to go back to the TCG specifically for the tens in this list, because if they hit Apollosa and they hit Beatrice, that ruins my Valence deck. That ruins, <laughs> like that literally ruins the end of my Gladiator Beast combo. You know, that means I have to end on SP Little Knight kinda, you know, and I don't wanna end on SP Little Knight. I wanna end on Baron. I mean, I want to end on, yeah, I do. I want to end on Baron. I want to end on Apollosa. I want to end on Negate, not b -b 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 Banish. If I want to Banish, I'm going to use my Drivigate. <coughs> but excuse me. <coughs> I sleep. Anyway, so basically, the Fiendsmith and um, um, Larxima, I think people spent, uh, it says market price four cents. I don't know how much people spent on this, on this, uh, uh, on this before it was that, but anyway it says monsters says your opponent control lose a 600 attack that's random but okay so you can only use the effect of this card once per turn if this card is fusion summon target a lightning monster in the graveyard or banishment as in hand or special summon we like that this card is sent to the graveyard shuffle one light fiend monster for the graveyard into the deck extra deck or Oh, and didn't inflict 1200 damage. That's just stupid. Like, I really don't get, like, why they make cards just inflict random-ass damage, and they have those time rules. Like, if you have the time rules, then, you know, you should be getting away from cards just spitting out some damage and then just running away. Like, you know, that's just... Nobody likes those dirty wins, but whatever. But they banned this card because pretty much this is one of those doing too much extra deck starters like this is the extra deck starter like a lot of people talk about snake eye ash and how that's a starter well ash and other things like you know like like that can can put enough resources in in motion to get this card going and once this card is going it's a whole nother line so basically these cards that set up multiple cards summon stuff from the deck pull stuff from the graveyard you know that's why I say that the extender is dead. There are no more extenders. There are only starters and the best time to play it, from my opinion. And now we go down to Apollosa, Bow of the Goddess. I'm so sorry that they did that to you. They, I'm so sorry they did this to the goddess Helene. I'm so sorry that they did this to Apollonia. I'm so sorry that they did this to my Greek goddess. I'm so sorry. But they went ahead and they clapped your girl and they went ahead and banished her. Why? because she was just too strong too many decks allow you to put too many bodies on the board and it's easy to go into a link for so they banned her because they broke the game that's not fair but that's just how life is man yeah that's how life is man they they fired you from your job because they lost the money in the quarter so you know that's how that works so hot dragon uh archfiend king calamity deserved to be banished so that's fine you already know what that does. It, like, shuts down your whole damn turn. Like, you know, yeah, get out of here. Um, Beatrice, Lady of the Eternal. I'm so sorry they did this to the girl, but she is a Master Duel. We will enjoy it. Um, she is in Duel Links. We will enjoy it a little, you know. <laughs> we'll enjoy it. Um, but but to be very frank, you know, her not being in TCG is kind of sad. Like, I didn't get a chance to use it. But, you know, this is the list in total you guys gotta let me know what you think i personally think as i look through this list completely what are the real benefits the real benefits to the game is unlimiting um armageddon night the real benefits to the game is unlimiting um red rose and unlimiting uh plush fire by uh, by opening 
plush fire well and also um ancient fairy by doing plush fire ancient fairy and these they're showing two things number one they want you to push synchro number two specifically they want you to do some kind of plant synchro number three um uh they think that you're going to be able to gain so much of a disgusting advantage with your plant synchro that time seal is going to be broken in it so you know they're just kind of given like a clear message as to what they want you to try in the meta they're trying to get people to depower the snake eye ash and i don't know what they're trying to bring back with this eva thing but i mean at the end of the day my boys snake eyes fine fiend smith is fine those engines are going to still work branded is fine ubell is fine tempi is fine all the decks are fine no decks are are affected to the point where they can't be playable but the only thing that did happen is we got new extenders and we got new starters so let me know what you guys think in the comments com yeah let me know what you think in the combo section below and as always my boys keep it dank